Hi, my name is Jen and I'm the owner of Crystal Forged and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a little different. We're not so much going into um, the small business side, but more of the lifestyle side. So this year I decided I was going to start an actual greenhouse. Um, last year I grew a handful of peppers and it was pretty successful. I was eating peppers pretty much all summer long, um, snacking on them, throwing them in eggs and stuff and omelets. And this year I decided I wanted to grow a large variety of vegetables and herbs, maybe some berry bushes. And so far I have three seedling trays behind me. Um, we're a decent amount of them. Looks like they are growing pretty well. So we're going to be transplanting a few of those. And then um, I have a lot of different like tomatoes and peppers. Some I bought, some I grew myself from seed. And yeah, there's a lot of food growing here.
I have a ghost pepper plant in my hand. I got this, this one from a local greenhouse. I've never seen a ghost pepper plant and hopefully it grows me some ghost peppers. I started planting the seedlings back in March. Um, beginning of the year, I started looking and getting some books and educating myself on growing vegetables and herbs because I really don't know anything about this. So this is a whole adventure by itself. But so far it's been going pretty well. Uh, just constantly watering everything because everything needs, seems to need a lot of water since I'm doing a mostly uh, container garden, container greenhouse. Basically everything's going to be in containers except for the uh, potatoes. We will eventually grow potatoes. So those will be in a raised bed we have. Um, once the greenhouse is all set up then we can move everything in there and go from there. But today I'm going to be transplanting a few of the larger seedlings and some of the herbs and everything, and we'll see how that goes. These are little fabric pots. It's a perfect dish. It will be for tomatoes.
Am I putting way too many peppers in one pot? Probably, but I don't have a lot of pots right now. So if they get really big, I can transplant them. pretty good for them keep them like not too wet and not too dry so now you just water everything and let them all go and hopefully they survive <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens here okay now to clean everything up and I'll show you what we have so far Thank you. 